If you use GoodNotes on your iPad for note taking or planning and you also have a Mac computer, I would highly recommend taking advantage of the GoodNotes 5 app for your Mac. If you've already purchased GoodNotes 5 for iOS, you can download it free of charge for your Mac computer. So you can see I'm just in the Mac App Store and I've downloaded GoodNotes and I can open it here. Now, when you first log in, it will ask for your permission to sync through your iCloud. So do make sure that your Mac and your iPad are using the same iCloud ID. And once you have given it that permission, it'll start uh, syncing and bringing your notebooks in. Now I have a ton of documents and notebooks and it only took a couple minutes to sync for me. So that process doesn't take very long. So when I click on a document here, you can see that it opens. And again, the experience is really similar to what you see on your iPad. So just running through the menu here, you have your page thumbnails, you can search the document, you can choose to bookmark a page, you can also choose to share the document out. And so this is all consistent with what you're seeing in the iOS app. You can also add a page in, import or choose from their templates and you also have the option to open your editing bar by clicking on the pencil icon. Now, when I first logged in, it was actually setting my scrolling to be vertical, and I switched it to horizontal because I like that page flip experience. So vertical looks like this where you can scroll through but since I use a mouse and it's an Apple smart mouse, I like just being able to flip through pages just like I would on my iPad. So totally just preference there. So if you're new to GoodNotes altogether, one important thing to note is that internal hyperlinks within a document, meaning if there's specific areas of the page that link to other pages, like you can see with these page templates, and these sections, these hyperlinks will only function when you're in reading mode, um, which is the mode you're seeing right now. When you tap on this pencil icon, it opens editing mode and gives you all of the editing controls. And in that mode, the hyperlinks won't function. Uh, and this is just to protect the hyperlinks from triggering every time you, you try to make an edit. So the tools are all really consistent with what you see on the iPad app as well. So I won't go through all of them in a ton of detail. I'll link to my GoodNotes 5 overview video for that. Now I do see myself using freehand tools like the pen and the highlighter quite a bit less on Mac. I just think it's difficult without some sort of large external trackpad or stylus to get that experience of drawing freehand, but it is nice that they have these tools available. So if you click on the tool once, it opens it. You can also use these keyboard shortcuts to trigger the tools. So you can see I'm on the pen, but if I press the E key on my keyboard, it's going to open the eraser tool for me. And then also if you click again on the tool, it'll open up the tool options for each of the tools. So if you're looking to select something on the page, just tap the lasso, tap it again to make sure it's selecting everything. And you just go through and I am clicking and holding and circling the area. And then if I click again, and this is just clicking with my mouse, it gives me all of those same options that I have on my iPad. So I can definitely see using the selection because I don't have to be as exact with it. What I can't see myself using as much is the pen. Um, it just be really difficult with a mouse to write with the pen. You can see that looks pretty terrible. <laughs> So one thing that is noticeably missing here is an undo button. To just undo those changes, I used 
Command C on my keyboard. Uh, and you can also up here in the edit menu, you can grab the undo as well. And you can see that you can also paste. But I do think it's interesting that that's not here integrated in the menu. So most often I'll likely use that keyboard Command C. Then you can also use Command and the up arrow Z to redo. Now moving along the tools here, everything else is really similar. When you click on the camera, it will actually open your webcam. Now, one tool that I do want to talk about is the text tool. Obviously, being on a computer with a keyboard, it would make sense to use text more heavily. And I do wish that they had optimized this a little bit for desktop. So I have the text tool selected and I just click here. And this is really the only option that it's giving me is just to start typing here on the screen. And then as you go, you have the option to drag these bars to resize. But I really wish I had been able to draw out a full text area and type in my text. Again, it just feels a little bit light and um, I think they could have built some more robust features into this to use on the Mac. But again, that might not be their angle here. They're keeping it really consistent with the experience that you have on the iPad. And now the other feature that I was really interested in is how split screen mode would work on the Mac and you do have the option to open in split screen, but it's not as optimal of an experience as it is on the iPad. So if I click here, I can open in a new window and that new window just kind of opens in front and opens separately. So you don't get that effect of resizing the window so that they automatically open side by side, you'd really have to do that yourself by resizing the GoodNotes window itself to sit side by side. So again, I don't know if this is just a limitation of Max in general, but I definitely don't see myself using split screen quite as much because I would have to go through and kind of manually um, resize these a bit so that they don't cover each other. So I would say high level here, I'm really happy to have this option. I'm happy that the functionality matches what we have on the iPad. It does definitely just feel like an iPad app available on the Mac, but again, that may have been more of the intent of this. I wouldn't say it's optimized for use on a laptop or desktop computer, specifically when it comes to the experience of typing notes. It definitely isn't going to replace something like Evernote or OneNote that really is optimized for that. But again, this is likely GoodNotes choice in really sticking with the market that they're already winning in and keeping their focus there. So I can totally appreciate that. So I'd really recommend this as a great option to access your documents, maybe make some minor changes check things off of a list, move things around on the page. But I wouldn't plan to work primarily on your Mac. Again, you really lose a lot with the GoodNotes tool set when you don't have that experience of a pen or a stylus in your hand working on your iPad. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, I hope you'll subscribe. I love sharing tips around GoodNotes and productivity. Thanks and happy planning.